So I will not seek re-election to the U.S. House of Representatives, nor election to any other office, but instead I will close the public service chapter of my life. And with that, Oregon's only Republican in Congress, Greg Walden, becomes the 19th GOP representative to not run for re-election. Walden has served in Congress for 20 years. In that time, he's become one of the most powerful Republicans in Congress and was a consistent voice for those conservatives, people living in rural eastern Oregon. Morgan Romero is on the story for us tonight. Morgan joins us now. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Dan. Representative Greg Walden says the time has officially come for him to pursue new challenges and opportunities. This makes Walden the 19th House Republican who's not running for re-election next year, compared to only seven Democrats. Walden grew up in the Dells and says rural Oregon values run deeply in his veins. He's represented Eastern Oregon since 1990, which has been a reliably Republican district for years. And even though Republicans saw huge losses nationwide in 2018, Walden told KXL's Lars Larson today he's sure he would have won in 2020 if he chose to run. But he did have advice to whoever comes after him. Now, you got to go earn it, Lars. I'm not saying you take any vote for granted. I never did, never would, and my counsel to uh, my replacement will be the same. you got to earn it. People, people want you to come out and talk to them and, listen, more importantly, listen to them and, uh, and, and, and do what you say you're going to do. You have to earn their trust, and if you do that, this will be a Republican district. Walden ushered in some big bills during his time in office. That includes the Support Act to fight the opioid epidemic. It passed last year with bipartisan support in both chambers. And then this year, he secured federal funds to expand broadband internet in rural Oregon. We talked to some of Walden's constituents in Hood River today, and we heard mixed reactions to this news. I think it's good news, honestly. Uh, I think that um, Greg has represented a large geographic area, but not necessarily the population that uh, lives within it. Well, I think it's a bad thing. I don't, uh, well, I've just known him too long to, to think that he could do wrong. I just hope that it's a, a trend of the way things are going to start changing. I think that our country needs a big, a big shift. So Walden says he'll work hard every day for the rest of his term. Meanwhile, on the other side of the aisle, Democrats say they welcome the news and accuse Walden of being out of step with voters, citing his vote to repeal and replace Obamacare back in 2017.